Okay. Yikes. I said no. Okay. Get your piped up. Hi. Hello. This is so exciting. I'm nervous. You're nervous? I am. This, but do people do joint Facebook lives? Yes. Oh, they do? Oh, my god. I'm a dinosaur. I'm learning. Okay. Some people have their iPod set. I mean, their iPad. Their three or four different devices. Laptop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, welcome to Facebook Live with mahoganybooks.com and africanancestry.com. We are here. I'm just so happy. Yay. So you. this is Ramonda Young. She is the chief community relations officer of mahoganybooks.com. <laughs> I met Ramonda and her husband Derek at the beginning of this year. Derek's in the background. Mm -hmm. um, when we formed a partnership mm -hmm. and uh, the goal of our partnership is to, what is the goal of our partnership? So I'm excited about the goal. Okay, so good. All of these amazing people that find out their DNA history right. now have access to books that educate them on their newfound um, history and DNA. So that's what I love. Yeah. So I can't wait to find out mine and go find the books that are about it. I'm okay, dragging okay. it out. Okay, I'm dragging, she's so, so excited. I'm dragging it out because she just wants me to go straight to the reveal, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I think it's an honor to partner with you all. Um, I'm a huge supporter of black business. I think that mm -hmm. everything we sh can buy black, we should buy black. And so um, I don't, Amazon is no longer my go-to. Um, and I'm telling everybody to please support mahoganybooks.com. Thank you. It's named after their daughter. Yes. So it's truly a family affair. And mm -hmm. we have to, I mean, it's black people doing positive things. Mm -hmm. And we have a responsibility to make sure that this company thrives. And so um, I'm excited to be here with the Youngs to do this reveal. So. It's been, she's been so patient. Oh We've my been, goodness. You did this test, I, was it, it was January? No, February. it was February. Mm -hmm. It was February mm -hmm. and we thought we'd be able to do the reveal in February and you have held out for two months. But not without harassing my <laughs> husband and all my friends like, I need to know, I need to know now. So I'm like, I can't wait any longer. Uh, I, I know, but you know what? So the mahogany people know you. Mm -hmm. But they, the African ancestry people don't know you. Okay. So can you talk a little bit about who you are and then what motivated you to take this test? Wow. So a little about me and a little bit about Mahogany Books. Um, I'm from Oklahoma. We've started, I'm very proud to be from Oklahoma, so I tell people that all the time. Living in the D.C. area. And my husband and I started Mahogany Books, I guess, almost 10 years ago, right? Almost 10 years ago. And the whole idea was, for me, we both had different ideas when we came together on the reason why, but for me, being in Oklahoma and having access to black books um, was unheard of, to be honest. Mm. And so to create, we kept thinking of different ideas. What can we create that would not only impact where we are right now, but people who live in Oklahoma or Nebraska, Idaho, and still have that access to literature. They have black people in Nebraska yes. and Idaho. I know about Nebraska, but what about Idaho <laughs> yes. that aren't in college? That Okay, I don't know about if they're in college. Okay, because there's there. There black folks on those college campuses, but what about? I know, outside of there. If you're, from Idaho, if you're from Idaho, can you shout us out? Because we need to know about right. um, black folks in Idaho. Exist. Okay. <laughs> so we started, the reason we started that online, and so now people all over have access to books. They don't have right. to be denied um, just because it's not in their neighborhood or in their in their state or right there in their community. Now right. they have it right at their fingertips. Right. And that was important to us to have access to our culture. No matter where we are, we have to know who we are, where we come from, which is why I'm excited to be here today. So that's a whole other <laughs> thing. Um, but that was important to us. But from a personal perspective, I've always been a reader. I've worked in books probably for the past um, over a decade. I've worked at um, Caribou Books. I've worked at the Big Box stores. I was, Kareem was actually their first district manager. Nice. So I did a lot of operations. Then I've done the big box store for about five years. So I've done Mahogany Books now for about 10 years. So books and education and awareness is something of just who I am. It's in my DNA. Yes, yes. Um, in a lot of ways. So and then you're also, uh, yeah. I don't even want to say it wrong, like she's an, uh, an inspir inspirer oh, yeah. and a a strategist mm -hmm. and a coach and she teach you help people better mm -hmm. understand how to network Absolutely. to build their mm -hmm. sense of confidence and professionalism oh, and yes. business and all of that right 
Yes. We're su- we soar yes, with you. We soar. And soar stands for surpass obstacles and rise. But yes, I have a lot of different hats. And for me, it was important as entrepreneurs, especially as women entrepreneurs, we're always in a lot of dynamic rooms. But we stand at the back of the room mm-hmm. and we don't go up and meet those people who we need to meet that can take our business to the next level. A lot of times it's because of fear or we don't feel like we should be in that space. But I'm very um, passionate about saying we're in that space for a reason. And so how do we make best use of that? And so I teach people those strategies and tools on how to speak up, get to the front of the room, make those different connections and have it impact their business. And I love it. I've done it for over 10 years being um, in community relations. So relationship building is right what I know and have been successful and generated a quarter of a million in um, income by myself for my Fortune 500 company that I was a part of, right? So and who, what kind of women mm-hmm. do come to you for uh, your Good question. Advice. A lot of them um, are already very successful entrepreneurs. They're in the health field, care field. They have boutiques. They are CEOs of tech companies. But yet they need that little push, that little incentive to speak up or to make that big call that they need to make some big client that they've been wanting to land. And a lot of times they don't know what to say or how to phrase it or how to pitch it just right. And I teach them that. I walk them through that process. So when they get the phone call or they have that opportunity, they they're they ready. Soar. Yeah. Hey. I need that. You know, I walk into a room of people I don't know. I'm like, uh. <laughs> Uh, I can't see that. You've said that before, but I don't, yeah. I don't know. I need to come soar right. with Ramonda. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so. Da, 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 da. so I don't say I'm Irish. I'm okay. Yeah, I already Irish told people. you you're not right, Irish. <laughs> so we don't do reveals of okay. non-African results without the person knowing in advance. So okay. since you didn't know in advance, you know it's not okay. non-African. Got it. Did you think it might be Native American, though, seeing as though you're from I Oklahoma? Did. And I say that because, oh, well, my roots are even in Arkansas. Right? Okay. But my mom, you know, who I don't know if she's watching this or not, but she's always like, we got a lot of Indian, Native American in our family, and that may be so. So I'm not sure. Okay. She doesn't All right. Know so what we did um, was the maternal line. Mm-hmm. So we gave Ramonda a test kit. She swabbed the inside of her cheeks. To collect the DNA and then we looked at DNA that you inherited from your mother mm-hmm. this DNA you inherited from her she got it from her mother mm-hmm. she got it from her mother and so on and so on for generations mm-hmm. so everybody in your family from your grandmother will share these results and my daughter mahogany. everybody mm-hmm. so you passed it to mahogany mm-hmm. and then when mahogany becomes a mother she'll pass it to her children do you have brothers and sisters I do so okay. there's a couple of them watching now okay so, so it's for you guys too and your kids and mm-hmm. all the, so this is really about family and it's about legacy mm-hmm. and it only took one person's DNA so what do you think we're I know you thought maybe Irish but and then you think maybe <laughs> Native American, mm-hmm. but is there any country in Africa wow. that you have an affinity towards or you thought we might mm-hmm. find for you? That's a good question. I'm not sure. I thought, I've, people, when I meet people, they're like, oh, you look like you're from Nigeria or you look like you're kid. I've heard it all. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I think I'm, to be honest, no matter where it says, I'll be excited because it's something that's been so important to me for so many years. Um, to do this and to find out because it will allow me to have an even deeper connection. I'm the connection strategist right. for business, but to have that connection from a personal standpoint um, is critical and crucial to me. So I hope I don't do the ugly cry on camera <laughs> just because it's, um, it's a deep thing. To yeah, me. it's very important. I, I'm asking all the questions now because normally <laughs> I can't ask any questions afterwards. You're the so person's wrong. like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So, um, we did find your ancestry in Africa. Yay! And um, unlike other companies, he'll just tell you that you're African. Mm-hmm. We go deeper than that. Oh, break it down. So we yeah. know that your ancestry is West African. Okay. But unlike other companies that just tell you you're West African, we went deeper than that. Okay. And we found your ancestry on an island wow. off the west and central coast of Africa. Um, this island is <laughs> mostly tropical rainforest, so it's very beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's a very beautiful place. And when it was discovered right. um, by a Portuguese 
mm. explorer, colonizer. Mm -hmm. I, why am I going to romanticize it? I don't know. A Portuguese colonizer. Um, he named it Beautiful Flower. Mm. Um, the com country was colonized by the Portuguese, and then the Dutch came in and just kind of, just kind of took, took over. Like there was no negotiation, no treaties. They just posted up and started running their um, slave trading operations for that part of the of the area, and then the Portuguese flexed and got it back, and then they ceded it to the Spanish. Mm. But in 1968, the people gained their independence. Wow. Okay. So um, the peep and then so you're from a country which I'm gonna tell you in a second mm -hmm. but we also know the people within that country wow. and that's part, of my lineage. that is part of your lineage. So I believe we found a 100% match. Wow. Let me see. <clears throat> we found a 99.2% match. So that means that there are people in this country today whose mitochondrial DNA is 99.2 percent the same as yours. So to us, wow. that's an A. That's an so A. That's how you're doing <laughs> And the people um, that you share ancestry with are the indigenous people hmm. of the island. So wow. they, they didn't mix with the other, mm -hmm. ancestrally you are part of the indigenous people. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, what else? Do I have anything else to tell you? No, I'm just going to tell you. All right. So you share maternal genetic ancestry with the Booby okay. people mm -hmm. living in Bioko Island Bioko today. Island. And Bioko Island is off the co coast of Equatorial Guinea. Mm, okay. So let me show you. Um, well, I, they're not going to be able to see, so yeah. I'll show you later where okay. it is. But Equatorial Guinea um, borders Cameroon. Mm and Gabon. So from a migration standpoint, mm -hmm. there were people from Cameroon that wow. populated um, Bioko Island historically. Okay. And you have some cousins. Okay. So Anthony Anderson, okay. we traced to the Bioko people mm -hmm. of, um, wow. I mean the booby people of Bioko uh, Island uh, and Wanda Sykes. Oh, comedians. Yes, comedians. I don't know. Hmm. Derek, Do have a does that? Future? No, he's like, no. He's, like, he's like this. He didn't he's even so smile. Wrong. He's like, nope. So let me give you your I results. Love it. I love it. She oh. is now officially, she and all of your, what is your maiden name? Um, Lark. Lark. So okay. all the Larks yeah. on her mama's side, mm -hmm. this is you all. You are part of the African ancestry yes. family. The Bio booby tribe. The booby the people Island. of Bioko Island. Oh, I see it. And Equatorial here's your certi certificate of ancestry. Oh. So we need to go here. I need to show everybody. <laughs> Let me see. Hide. So I can't hide any of all my information out there. You can see it. It's just yeah. your name. It's just your name. Certificate of Ancestry. Ivory Coast. Someone, Jeffrey guessed Ivory Coast. Nope. She's Bioko Island. Bioko Island. Wow. Um, off the coast of Senegal. I'm sorry, Senegal. Off the coast of um, Cameroon uh -huh. and Equatorial Guinea. And you know, there's a um, documentary that <clears throat> actually used Dr. Kittles, my business mm -hmm, partner, mm -hmm. um, to do the DNA research and then wow. they, they tested some people, some black Brits. Mm -hmm. And there was one woman who was a, is a black Brit via Jamaica. Okay. And they traced her ancestry to the Booby people. Mm -hmm. And they went to Equatorial Guinea, Guinea to Bioko Island and they actually invested in testing mm, wow. people in this community and they found one person with her exact same DNA. Mm -hmm. So she actually found one, like a needle in a haystack, one person wow. who was a direct descendant mm -hmm. um, of the same line that she was and that, that was pretty powerful. I'm going to find that, that um, for you so yes. you can see it. I'm so um, excited. I can't wait to go and research and look up. Um, it's just it's crazy. It's crazy. That's She's not crazy. crying. And so you can find out where you're from and then you can go to mahoganybooks.com. Mm -hmm. We we curated a get rooted book list. Yes, we did. And there's a section of books that are country mm -hmm. specific. Absolutely. Then we decided to do uh, a culture Mm -hmm. section That's of the right. book Don't list. Uh -huh. That's right. And then a consciousness That's right. section of the book list because Absolutely. while you all are fans and oh, Chalet. 
Okay, I'm going to do mine. That's right. Uh, you got to do like your chalet. My sister says she's researching now. With Lunda, <laughs> uh, Rosalind Lark. She says, it's beautiful. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's right. You know, there are people who don't understand why this is important. Mm. And so that's why we have the consciousness section. Absolutely. Because if you're not quite ready, if you don't quite understand why you need to know who you are mm -hmm. and what that means as a black person, then go to the consciousness, consciousness mm -hmm. section. Mm -hmm. And we've got some books in there that will help, help you figure that out. And then you can get a test kit and... Uh, I'm on find of your DNA. Be a family member. You yeah. might be related to Ramunda and so her family. Up. I'm sitting here, but I'm like, I need to get to my computer <laughs> and research and just soak up all of my ancestry, all my roots from my mom's side. I think it's it's just so um, critical, so crucial, and so exciting to me. So I'm just so excited that you guys even exist to even do something like this, that you yeah. break it down all the way like this, and we get to find out the island and the the people that are living on that island that are coming from um, my heritage so I appreciate right. that those are your people welcome to the family oh, the African so ancestry thank family. you so much Oh, and um, I got you a t-shirt so we don't have Bioko Island t-shirts mm -hmm. but you can still wrap African ancestry oh yeah I might be wearing it on the so um, this is for you and then um, I also have a gift for Derek because I know he's been wanting to do it, and you got oh. it first. So, Derek, this is for you. So, oh my Mahogany will know both sides oh of her goodness. family's ancestry. Oh, and I want to thank you all for the work that you do. Thank you for sharing your reveal yeah. with the, the Facebook world. In. And um, you guys, check us out. We're going to have links to Mahogany Books. Mm -hmm. If you're on, if you're watching from African Ancestry and um, mm -hmm. the book list, the good Get Rooted book list, Absolutely. and then also, what are you on um, social on IG? The Soar with Ramunda. Mm -hmm. So on Instagram, I'm at Soar with Ramunda, and we have a Mahogany Books page that we're just launching here. It's just under Mahogany Books um, DC, I believe it's under. So we're okay. excited, yeah. So Instagram, all that kind of good stuff. Twitter. Soar with Ramunda. Soar with and Ramunda. Books, so. She'll figure out, she'll help you figure out how to go in that room and close the deal. What? That's right. Let's do it. Let's make money. Don't get me started talking about that. <laughs> okay, oh, we got to go so we can talk about yeah. making some more money. I Thank know. you all. Come to AfricanAncestry.com to get your results. Bye. Thank you. This is so exciting. I know.